everything starts to look so vibrant, like the stimulating effect of LSD. He actually stated it very clearly on the storyboard that it's some kind of hallucinogenic. But again, it's hard to tell. Some say the old man is also a scumbag because he ignores her hopes and pushes common happiness onto her. So he's like every other man. But the egoistic love the old man shows toward Kaguya is also the result of her charm. The mother is not bewitched. And because she's sane, she treats Kaguya neutrally. On the other hand, the father, the old man, who are bewitched, he just can't stop thinking about Kaguya's happiness. But how he expresses it depends on his childish ideas, like the five nobles. That's because their IQ is lower when they are bewitched by Kaguya's charm. That's why... The old man's attempt to make Kaguya happy does not really make her happy. Like the cats who come to a boy for his smell of silver vine won't make him happy. Her power only applies to men. It doesn't work on Kaguya's private teacher, Lady Sagami, and the village girls act consistently neutral to Kaguya. All the ladies at Kaguya's mansion don't change their attitudes towards Kaguya either. Only the men change. The audience thinks that's because Kaguya is beautiful, but if you pay closer attention, you'll know that some kind of special power is in effect. However, out of all the men who come out in the story, only Sudamaru survives the bewitchment of Kaguya. Kaguya bewitches Sudamaru with her charm power so that she can... I know it sounds mean, but she tries to run away with Sudamaru. But while they're flying, a huge moon appears and shoots a punishment beam at Kaguya. The moon is like, cut it out, Kaguya, and Kaguya goes, no, and falls. Then, what happens to Sudamaro is that, well, there is this amazing superpower sent from the moon that rewinds time. So, Sudamaro remembers it, but thinks it didn't happen. But it did. There's even a proof. Then, when his wife and kid come to him, Sudamaro gets rattled and quickly puts his kid on his shoulders. The storyboard says, Sudamaro feels guilty, so he doesn't look at his wife in the eyes. And that, the wife notices something, but can't say it out loud. So you see how Sudamaro has been saved by the moonlight. It's like a man who survives a vampire attack. There's an exciting dialectic between what is verbally told and what is visually shown. How Kaguya says, I want to live true to myself, or that's not my happiness, compared to what she actually does, are intricately interrelated, which is the key to understanding the movie. There are many contextual layers in this movie, which are built so well, Takahata's film surely doesn't disappoint us. I'll spend more time discussing this later.